Let's open up Octane Render and take a look at the program. So we can see we're running the demo version. And there are three main areas inside Octane Render. We have the Render Viewport. This is where we will be manipulating and working with our render. We have a Node Inspector that allows us to interact and change parameters of the nodes. And then we have the Graph Editor where we work with the node tree itself. But being that we're working with a GPU-based rendering engine, it's very crucial that we keep tabs of and be able to work with our GPUs. We can see right now that I have a single GPU. It's a GeForce GTX 260 with a number 1 next to it. But if we click File and then go to the Device Manager, we will be able to work with and see the status of all the video cards in the system. See the note here, it is important that SLI is disabled before using multiple CUDA devices. If you have SLI enabled and you have multiple video cards, you will not be able to do multi-GPU rendering with Octane. You must disable that in the driver first. Also, some people have had issues getting multiple video cards recognized and it's different for different operating systems, so you'll have to try it for yours, but inside the NVIDIA driver settings, they have a setting for which cards are set for physics. And I know that in Windows 7 with me, I had to make sure that my GT one of the GTX 470s was set to be physics enabled for it to show up in Octane. Um, I've heard that people with Windows XP have it the opposite. You have to disable physics before you'll be able to get the video card. So you might have to take a look at those settings if you're not seeing the video card showing up as you expect. But with this system, we see that we have three devices. We have two, a GTX 470, another GTX 470, and a GTX 260. The two GTX 470s are placed in a Cubix GPU expander box, and the GTX 260 is the one physically inside my computer that has the display connected. Up under the active CUDA devices, we see that I have that 260 is the active device that's going to be used for Octane, and I have both GTX 470s are inactive. So what I'd like to do, and we have to do this every time before we start rendering, in the future Octane will have this set to a configuration file, so once you set it, every time you open Octane it will be set this way, but for currently with the demo, if you have multiple GPUs, before you start rendering, you're going to have to add both of the, um, all the multiple cards up to the active list. So I have three cards that are active. And then I want to remove the 260 so it's inactive. So now it's set up the way that I'd like. I'd like both GTX 470s to be set to render, and my GTX 260 will be set to handle all of the operating system window draws and will maintain a very fluid operating system while I'm working with Octane. So that sets is, is set for the device manager. You'll also be able to see as you load a scene, if you're running out of memory and you're not able to load everything properly, you'll be able to see how the memory of the video card is being used. Um, just to clear up any misconceptions as well, if you have multiple video cards, the memory is not added. So if you have two one gigabyte cards, you do not have two gigabytes of memory to store a scene, you only have one gigabyte. The scene and all the textures must be completely loaded in each video card's memory. So you don't get an added effect. So if you're looking at purchasing video cards, you want to make sure that you get more than enough RAM uh, because they are they are shared, they're not shared, they're not added, they're both used independently. So if you've got a 512 megabyte video cards and you put two of them in a system, then you would still overall only get 512 megabytes of video RAM to work with Octane Render.